Welcome back, Hookaholics, Foulmouth Fishing. We got a lot to discuss and a little bit of time to do it. Uh, uh, there's some Easter eggs in this video, and there'll be some Easter eggs in a lot of videos upcoming. Um, but real quick, I want to uh, shout out and, and give a special thank or, or thank you uh, to an expected package and uh, a big shout out and a congratulations to Bass Boxing Outdoors for becoming a captain Bass Boxing Outdoors. So uh, if you don't know, check out his channel, check out his Instagram. Um, he picked himself up a nice little bass boat, so it's going to be awesome for him to, uh, to be able to explore more water than uh, just bank angling like uh, I typically do. But uh, as you all know, I also picked up uh, a little John boat recently, so I'm hoping to get that, uh, that out on the water and get some more content that way as well. In the meantime, we got a lot to discuss and today is the 13th. It is, uh, it's not exactly Friday the 13th, <laughs> but it is the 13th. And uh, we're, uh, we got in our mail today at the front door our mystery tackle box for October. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll crack into that and see what we got for October's MTB Elite. Like I said, uh, we got our MTB Elite, but uh, I want to quickly just run down about two minutes of some quick info. Um, I got an email from these guys, from Anglers Hall. Uh, so I got an email from Anglers Hall saying, we're shocked that you canceled your subscription to Anglers Hall. I never canceled my subscription to Ang Anglers Hall. Anglers Hall stopped shipping altogether with COVID kicking in. Um, their, their ability to ship and get merchandise just fell off. Supply chain shortage. Uh, I left an open invitation as soon as they were to start shipping again. Contact me, tell me, and we can continue on with uh, my Angler's Hall subscription as it was $109 a month. Uh, getting the Angler's Hall uh, advanced, front here, the advanced package. In lieu of that, I bit the bullet. I went to these guys, uh, Fish Bolt. Now, the recent Fish Bolt, I have to say, was okay. It wasn't great, but it was okay. It was definitely in the vein of uh, angling and fishing. Um, like angler, like uh, Angler's Hall here, they start out with a little bit more hunting, but Angler's Hall was 99% anglers. It was fishing. It was uh, gear, tackle, rods, reels, um, knives, etc. Fish Vault was 99% hunting survivalist. Only in the recent two boxes did we see things that were more to, in tune to fishing. Um, so in that interim, not being able to get from Angler's Hall, I went to these guys at $150 a month. So $109 for Angler's Hall, $150 for Fish Vault. I haven't been ecstatic with Fish Vault, although I have to say recently, um, they did up their game, and they did have more fishing, uh, you know, usable items. Now, this last month of September, which should show up sometime this month, uh, should include a fishing rod to go with the fishing reel that they gave us uh, recently. So I'm looking forward to um, unboxing the, uh, the September edition of Fish Vaults uh, Elite uh, when that does arrive sometime here in October. But back on track for what this video actually is, this is what came in the mail today, which is our uh, Mystery Tackle Box Elite Mail Edition. This is not the in-store retail package right there. This is the via post mail package. So every month you subscribe and you'll get one of these boxes and it comes with a whole slew of tackle. Uh, I will say I've seen uh, a few things. There's one item in here I have seen in other boxes that I'm hoping is in here because I'd like to spend a little bit of time and uh, expose a lot of uses if I'm lucky enough to be one of those who get this. Now, not every single person who gets a MTB for the month of October is going to have exactly the same bases, uh, baits. Uh, each box might have the same basic rundown, 
but you might get different brands, certainly you might get different colors, uh, sometimes you'll get different profiles altogether. So it really is a mystery of tackle in a monthly box. So we'll crack open to this month, first time seeing. There you go. Uh, oh, I do see the big box that I'm looking for at the bottom, so hopefully that is exactly what I was hoping for. Let's try to find our what's in the box card. Of course, it's all the way at the bottom, which is kind of takes away from some of the mystery. We'll get the most important stuff out of the road, and then we'll start breaking into what we got in the MTB. So we got our Dibbles Digest booklet this month. Uh, it's not the little pamphlet, it's the booklet. I appreciate that. I was getting kind of tired of the pamphlets when all it ever taught me was where are fishermen poop. Um, so there's that. We got some pro tips on here. We got a match game for matching the hatch. Um, really good information. Uh, novice angler to professional. You can always get good, good information from these. So I appreciate that. This is the item. They're starting to do a lot of their semi-self-promotion, truly is self-promotion, in their boxes. Um, I'm not knocking them for that, but I do like that they include these little cards with hints, tips, and information on specifically what their item of um, you know self-promotion or what have you, but their, their monthly item special, their monthly focus item is going to be. And in this time, it's the Zuki bug. Um, so... This is really cool. In fact, they're showing on this um, something that I was going to show you. So I can reference these photos without having to destroy my bait to show you uh, what I was going to infer. We got our MTB decal. A little punk rocker with his guitar. Metal, <laughs> metal, metal bass, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's a bass he's playing. A bass-shaped bass. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That'll go on the old, uh, the boat. Um, I have come up with a name from different conversations with people online and in public. I kind of settled on a name uh, going with the theme of the way the boat's painted and pseudo kind of the Halloween theme. So uh, we'll see if any of you can guess before I reveal it on Halloween what the name of the old foul mouth fishing boat's going to be. Um, we also got our Grass Heroes jig. So here's a Guggen Squad's Grass Hero. Again, Guggen Squad and Catch Co. collaborate. So it's an in-house uh, Catch Co. bait uh, under the Guggen Squad branding. So uh, there's that. Uh, that's cool. And at this point in time, during October, those are baits you're going to use. You're going to use creature baits on the bottom, uh, jigs, uh, like the grass jig. Uh, you're going to definitely want to do tubes, um, jerk baits, things like that. So we'll see what we got in here uh, and see if that coincides with this fall, October-esque period of time for fishing, heading into winter as the, uh, the bass are putting on their feed bags before they, they go into that slumber for the cold weather season. All right. First on the list of two, four, six, eight, ten items. Ten items. Most expensive being $9.99, least expensive being uh, $1.80. So we're going to start for $9.99 and again, I'll put timestamps so every one of these items uh, you don't have to waste around for. You can just click on the name of the item and click on the timestamp, and you'll see the review for that specific item. Um, and you can jump around uh, item to item if that catches your eye. From Baker Lures, this is the suspending jerk bait. Jerk bait. All right. Let's find Baker Lures. That'll be in the bottom, right? Oh, there's the big box there. Baker Lures. So we've got a three and a quarter inch, one thirds ounce in a shad silverback, is what they call it. Shad spot, little chartreuse yellow side jerk bait. Definitely an awesome, awesome bait for this time of year. Got a gray speckle back, that shad spot, chartreuse. I'd probably throw this off and dress it up with a white feather treble on the back just to give it a little bit more action and uh, another point of interest for the fish um, to strike at it, especially in reaction. Does have a little bit of rattle in there, so that's good. I like, I like during this period of time, I like a, uh, not a silent bait, I like a little bit of a muted rattle, a small BBs, $9.99 for, for this guy. 
that ain't bad. We're gonna put the box. Who's in my box? So that's pretty cool. And again, this is uh, three and a quarter inches. So that's pretty good size. That'll get you your medium, large, and small fish as they're feeding up. Remember, this is the period of time where they're they're really quick to uh, to jump at anything to to get some foodstuffs in them because the water's turning cold and they're gonna lose that uh, that uh, ability to hunt. Their metabolism is going to slow down, and their ability to, to strike at things is going to slow down, too. So you're going to start going into that dead sticking period of time, which is kind of, eh. <laughs> for, for reaction and action fishermen, it's kind of a lull that you don't hope to see, but unfortunately, it's part of nature. All right, $9.99 for that jerk feet. Definitely a fall-time bass lure. Awesome. Awesome to see on, on the box. Uh, Bill Lewis, all right, we have an SB57 MDJ series. That's a mouthful. Bill Lewis, I'm going to say this is probably a crankbait. Oh, here we go. Bill Lewis. So we've got an SB75 crankbait, and it is two and a quarter inches long. This is a three-eighths ounce, dives three to six feet, which is that good shallow period of time. Remember, they're pushing their bait fish up into the shallows. To feed on them, this is a time to start throwing uh, sco like schooling imitation baits uh, because that's what they're doing. They're pushing baits into balls and pushing them up into shallow. And bass are working in conjunction with one another. They're not just fighting each other for fish. Uh, they're all actually working together. So this is a great time to uh, to fish things like this. Nice little circuit board lip. Again, three to six foot diver. Black back. Again, that shad spot, that little hint of chartreuse, really awesome realistic eye pattern. And I'm sure this has probably got a little, little knock to it. Little muted knock, that's awesome too. $8.99 for this guy, definitely gonna see its way into my tackle box, for sure. That's awesome. Uh, and again, three eighths of an ounce, which is a nice uh, lightweight uh, for a shallow diver. Um, so you can use this on you know, spinning reel or a casting reel. Uh, so it's pretty pretty useful and somewhat universal in where you're going to throw this. Again, right now you're looking at, surprisingly, we still have green leaves. Um, it's October, and I was expected to see everything to either brown, red, or dead. And uh, we still have green on a, a ton of our trees. So that's telling me, you know, and we still see the hints of grass uh, even in the, in the lakes, even as the water is starting to cool off. Uh, there's still grass there, so ticking this right across grass lines, definitely deadly uh, for this time of year. So that's cool. Again, $8.99 as well for the Savage Gear 3D Bait Fish Paddle Tails. So Savage Gear, we have some soft pre-rigged paddle tails, white with a little black, uh, like a bluegill, black gill uh, spot. Um, not bad. Good for bait fish if you have minnows, shiner, herring, uh, bluegill, um, shad, anything like that. You can definitely go with this kind of a bait. This is a this is a heavier bait. Three piece. These are four inches, and uh, they're not going to give me a weight, are they? They call this um, oh three eighths ounce in the pearl color, pearl. So. Um, I like getting baits that are soft plastic that are white because I can use dip and dye, dip and glow, and I can run the pens and put red on it or green or blue or use magic marker and kind of infer my own kind of color schemes to a lot of these. If I want to imitate more of a, uh, a baby, you know, uh, uh, herring or something, I can kind of add in some silver with a silver uh, magic marker or paint marker or I can add blue in, or I can add some hints of green or chartreuse. Um, they're always great with the dip and glow, dip and dye uh, pens. They also give you the added scent and attractant, so that's always good. So don't shy away. I know so many people shy away from white, uh, but I like white baits because I can then customize them as I see fit to match the hatch in my water. So that's pretty cool. Again, this is also $8.99, same as the Bill Lewis. All right, number four from 13 Fishing. We have Rabbit Ear Joystick Ultra Thin. So these, these are little teasing finesse tickler worms. So the Joystick Ultra Thin Rabbit Ear Tail. So it's a little, it's got a little like paddle tail, almost like two 
flat boot tails on the back of a finesse. It is Blueberry Yum Yum. These uh, zip packs. Tear open. Blueberry Yum Yum. So you've got like a sprayed grass with a, a deep blue and purple tone. But there, there's those tails, what they call the bunny ear tail. So it's basically like a boot tail on a flat, similar to a boot tail. You can see it right there. I'll turn it sideways. Don't look at me. Look at the tail. So you got this little boot tail on this flat uh, appendage. Awesome, awesome bait for your drop shot or even, yes, wacky rig if you want to really ultra finesse on a spinning reel. Um, go down to that light line, you know, four, five, six pound test. Uh, that's, that's good. That's good to slow roll, especially when you're getting a little finicky in the afternoons. You can start going to a little bit more finesse. -y. And this is a full pack, so you've got number 35 blueberry yum yums, four and a half inch long, three thirty seconds of an ounce. Um, it doesn't say if they're floating. They're probably pretty buoyant. Nevertheless, little micro finesse worm, that's good to see too. I like that so far we've seen, um, you know, some smaller baits, larger baits, medium sized baits, and we're looking at different water columns. That's a plus. Now, the 13 Fishings Joystick Ultra Thins were $5.99. For $5.99 as well, uh, we have 10,000 Fishes Zuki Boat. This is going to take a little bit because I'm going to talk on this. Everybody's loving these baits. It's, um, they don't know whether to call it a creature bait or craw bait. I'm going to coin the phrase, I'm going to call it a composite bait. So it's, it's a, a mix of things. And it's not just a creature, and it's not just a crawl. So I'll refer back to this card they've got because they do a great illustration. So on here, you can see how they've had this trimmed down. Now you have these winged appendages here at the top of the Zuki, right? So you have these winged uh, flaps. So that gives you a great creature bait, gives you plenty of action on the fall. Um, you also have this tickle tail in the middle, this little barbed tickler tail in the center, and you have these weird uh, curly tail cutter, cut tail worm, but they got little winglets on the end, almost like a dragon's foot or a frog's uh, or a lizard's foot, so you have a bit of a creature bait there. The great thing about this is this isn't one bait, it's not even, I think they show like three here. I look at this as like five, four or five baits. So. You can break off these wings, I'll just fold it back, and now you have what could be a great punching bait. Uh, you know, you can run this straight down with a little, uh, you know, with a heavy gauge punching uh, weight on here, some tungsten, and, and uh, Texas rig it. You can take off the legs and have it as basically a little finesse worm. You could drop shot that, take off the wings, take off the legs, you have a worm that you can drop shot, finesse Texas rig, take out the wings, take off that center tail, and you've got yourself uh, a nice little you know, frog to work top water if you buzz it across the top, or you can run this on a wobble head or on a, you know, a jig head as, as a nice underwater you know, uh, bottom hopping jig trailer. Uh, you can cut it down just like that, run it on a finesse jig, run it as the trailer between like a behind a spinning bait or something like that because these will be kicking away whether you're spin while your uh, spinner baits kicking up on the top you can run it whole uh just texas rigged there's a, so many different ways to just remove appendages keeping one removing another uh taking everything away and and just running this in so many different variations with one single bait that as you're fishing this, if you lose the leg, take off the other leg. You still got a working bait. If they kick, take off the tail, you still got the two legs. If they take off a wing, take off the other wing. You still got a usable bait profile. You don't have to sacrifice action when a fish might tear off a bit of this bait. And that's why I like to think of it more of a composite bait. It's not a creature. It's not a worm. It's not a finesse. It's not an action, uh, you know, buzz bait. It's not a frog. It's really a conglomerate of everything 
that you could probably look for in a bait. So really, this is like one of those baits where a person says, if you could have one bait on your one soft plastic, say that, I won't say hard baits because it's not, you know, there's always that section for jerk baits or, or crank baits or what have you. But if you can have only one soft plastic bait, I think they knocked it out of the park by coming up with this particular design and profile because it, it covers so many different bases in my mind. Um, and I'm looking forward to showing it in practice uh, how youthful and universal the, uh, the characteristics of this particular body form uh, can be. So that's the 10,000 fishes, 10,000 fishes Zuki bug. So that's pretty cool. And again, you get, they're five inches long and you get six of them in a box. So that's pretty cool. Um, I can appreciate that for sure. And they charge, again, $5.99 for that. So six in a box for $6, a dollar a bait. But again, like I said, if parts of it get tore off, you totally can use the rest of it. It's, you're not losing a bait. It's not like, um, you know, your typical creature bait. You lose the leg, you got to put it aside and then go for a, get a new one and, you know, hook on a new one. All right, so for $5.50, as we're halfway through our list, for $5.50, we have the Black Fly Lures Flash. Black Fly Lures Flash. So now we're, we're talking our spinner baits. Like I said, this is a great time for, um, for using baits that emulate schooling fish. And this might actually, this is very unique, by the way. I've never seen a bait like this. I've seen, um, you know, lots of different blade designs. Uh, this is honestly the first time I've seen this. But uh, nevertheless, I'm a Colorado widow, willow. Um, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, blade designs that I've seen. This is like a crescent half moon uh, sort of sickle shaped blade. Uh, you have two of them, white with a red hook, white skirt. Really interesting. Um, again, this is for $5.50 from Black Fly Lures, a company I'm not very aware of. Um, oh, it's a Canadian company. That's, uh, that's very interesting. Um, I'm willing to give it a shot. I like you know, the, the more old fashioned -y kind of constructed blade baits, um, in this case, a spinner bait. Um, this is interesting. This is interesting. And like I said, that's, that's definitely a blade design, hammered, hammered texture, that odd shape. I'm very interested to see how that performs. That's cool for 550. So there's a little touch of something new and unexpected, unseen. So that adds a, you know, a company that I wouldn't have heard of before. Now I get to try out some of their wares. All right, four to go. Guggen Squad's Grass Hero Jig. I have these in my box of Guggen Baits. Um, this is a quarter ounce Grass Hero in the color of bluegill and the four-aught hook. Uh, we'll see if I have this exact same one. I'll probably throw it into a giveaway if I do because I don't need more than one of these. I have a huge tackle box full of jigs that I go to all the time. Um, that's for $4.99. Four forty nine. dollars we got the Kalins Seismic Jerk Minnows. So we have, these are the Minnow Juniors. They're just little soft plastic uh, jerk baits. They're fork tail flukes. Again, fluke fishing in, in this period of time, also excellent. You can cover all heights of the water column, uh, fish them weightless, fish them on a belly weighted jig. That's definitely an easy way uh, to catch those schooling fish, especially in neutral tones like this. Uh, pearl with that... Uh, black and green glitter in the back. That'll catch them. $3.29 for, I mean, excuse me, $4.49 for that. $3.29 for Big Bite Baits Trick Sticks. So these right there, you got your Ned Rig, a little tiny miniature Nico Rig uh, baits. So these are nice. I got the full size versions of the Plasma Tails. These are just little miniature versions of the same. Uh, and the green pumpkin with the chartreuse tail, I'm going to say I'm going to throw these into my ultralight kit uh, because I never thought to actually, you know, sink some plasma tails when I'm fishing for smallmouth or lighter, smaller fish. So I'll put them over there with my ultralights. That's a good one. And finally, the cheaper item for $1.80 and our final item in our box for the month of October which was a packed box with 10 things. For $1.80, we have another package of Sheer Points Performance Hooks. Uh, this is the same brand of hook that I picked up my 
uh, PB largemouth for this year. Um, so that's pretty cool. I do like these hooks. They do pin uh, because of the way they're designed. The hook penetrates and it slips down and then it gets caught in this little notch in the back half of the point that doesn't allow the hook to back back up and pop the, the, uh, the, uh, the barb back out. So it really does trap the hook into the fish's mouth. And it, I don't know, just me personally, I think it's, it's helped my hookup ratio uh, a lot more over standard EWGs. Um, so I'm happy to see shear points, or spear points, excuse me, in, uh, in my box at any time. There's a couple other brands. I mean, I love my Gary Yamamoto uh, uh, stuff, and I don't particularly use those with my Gary Yamamoto um, fishing lures, soft plastics. I also don't use those, uh, the shear points, when I'm using any Elastex style baits. Uh, but uh, with other soft plastics, they're, they're my go-tos. Alrighty, so uh, again, Baker Lures suspending jerk bait. Excellent to see in this month. $9.99. Bill Lewis's uh, crankbait, that's $8.99. The Savage Gear uh, Bait Fish Paddle Tails, they're $8.99. 13 fishes, or 1-3 fishings. Um, the Rabbit Ear Joysticks, those little light uh, finesse worms, those are $5.99. The Zuki Bug, the multi-use uh, creature composite bait, uh, that guy is $5.99. The black fly lures with that really interesting blade design of a spinner bait, that's $5.50. The Gookin Squad's Grass Hero Jig, $4.99. The Kalen's Seismatic Jerk Minnow Juniors, the forktail uh, jerk baits or forktail flukes, uh, $4.49. Big Bite Baits Trick Sticks, those little Ned Head uh, Plasma Tails, $3.29. And finally, those Spear Point Hooks, two pack for $1.80. Not a bad box. So uh, leave a comment down below. What do you think about the, uh, the October box we got today? And uh, is there anything in here that caught your eye? That, or have you fished any of these baits that I haven't fished yet? Obviously. Um, I haven't fished that spinner bait. Maybe one of you has had a black fly lures or had a spinner bait with that blade design on it. Because that really is interesting. I've never, never had one with this design. Um, just, just saying. So... If you fished this before, tell me, how did it act? Did this give off more or less flash than your standard Willows or Colorados or, uh, you know, Omaha's or, or what have you, Blades? Um, uh, what about the, uh, the Black Flies? And what about the, uh, the Bill? I've never really tried a Bill Lewis jerk bait or not jerk bait, excuse me, crank bait. I've done the, you know, the Bill Lewis rattle traps. That's always been my go. This will be a first time I've actually going to fish a Bill Lewis's crankbait. So that's pretty cool. Sneaky shad. <laughs> Sneaky shad. All right. So leave a comment. Tell me what you think. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and share as always. And for me to you, I hope your holidays are, are coming up are going to be great. I'm looking forward in a few days to taking a vacation because I'm long overdue. With all that said, spend some time on the water. Spend some time and uh, decompress and relax. Peace, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Take care, Hoka. Thank you.